Congratulations, Floyd. Hey, uh, thank, you, thank you, Kevin. How on, you doing? On the show. First of all, when did, I know you guys were fooling around on social media. Can you take me through when you first thought it was serious that you could uh, come back and fight this guy? Um, you know, um, I just, I guess it was just something that I, I mean, that the, I just feel like the fans would want to see. Um, I spoke, <clears throat> I spoke to Al Heyman, and I called Al, and I said, Al, I think that um, the Mayweather-McGregor fight can be the biggest fight in history. He said, Floyd, no. Like, basically, he don't ever just, he can never say just no because we done so many record-breaking things together. So he was like, um, I'll make a call and see. I said, you know. What was that time frame? When was um, that? I, I don't really know because me and Al talk almost every, almost every day. Well, let me, a, a question you probably don't like, but I'll ask you is your record. You know, so you, you're proud of your 49-0. and 0, You're yes. tied with Rocky Marciano. There's a lot of boxing purists that say you're going to get a, yes. rec a record 50-0 and 0 if you beat Conor by beating a guy who's never had a pro fight. How, how do you respond to that, and does it bother you that, I mean, you know, I mean, that will be an asterisk on your mark, so to speak? My thing, the last time I checked, he's, a, he's still a professional fighter. At the end of the day, he's a stand-up fighter. Only, th only time Conor McGregor did take an L is when he was on the ground. He never took a... A loss standing straight up, fighting head up. So, I mean, um, he's a guy I know that I can't, I can't overlook because one shot can end your whole career. And, and he's a tough competitor. I understand he's a tough competitor, but, you know, it is what it is. Floyd, he's, he clearly wants to uh, get under your skin, and I know he was doing some things. I know he was doing some things on stage there, you know, where you were kind of letting him talk and letting him go at yes. it. Um, what did you decide about, you know, saying what you said up there on stage, and then what's going to happen in the ring? Are you going to do anything uncharacteristic based on what Connor is saying to you? Well, you, if you, you, you realize, you know, you know, you, you guys know, I've been doing this over 20 years. You know, I've been doing this over 20 years. I've been here before. You know, I've been here before. So, um, but he's tough. I mean, he's tough. He, I mean, he's a warrior. And the best must fight the best. The fans, the fans demanded this fight. Um, McGregor wanted this. McGregor wanted this fight. I wanted this fight. And um, August 26, you know, it'd be, it's gonna be blood, sweat, and tears from the opening bell. Floyd, that was one of the most animated performances we've seen from you in a, in a public setting for a, a while. I mean, is there something about Connor that that gets? Under your, not under your no, skin, no, no, but just, I'm not, just I'm like motivate you. Well, you know, it's, it, I mean, I don't need a fighter to, you know, I'm self-motivated. I don't need a fighter to motivate me. But we have to get the people what they want to see, and that's what the people want to see, um, to, hel to have a, a sold-out arena and just get these people uh, something just real smooth and calm. They don't want that. That's not what they want. These fans want they want entertainment and that's what we're here to give them and um i think they was entertained today by by both competitors where we at let's go Ask some more questions floyd you and connor released uh, training videos right around the same day did you see his video and did, i mean it's, i know it's different techniques but did you take anything away there's been a lot of comments made about that um I didn't see his training videos um, at all. You know, what I try to do, you know, what's important to me, I run my day-to-day -day businesses, you know, my gentleman's club, you know, I have, I have things that I, businesses that I have that I run on the regular. You know, I, I'm i not one of those, I'm not like, I'm pretty sure everyone else in this room that like to be on social media all day. You know, um, I'm out there making smart investments and, I train, make smart investments, and just and rest at home. You know, that's what I try to do. Floyd, did you, um, afternoon, um, with the way the fight may play out, yes. Connor could become very frustrated yes. fighting you by missing so much. Is there anything in the contract or any worry from you that he might start kicking you or trying to kick your head or hitting you with elbows or reverting to MMA at all? Um, that's... Um, the referee job. My job is to go out there and be a boxer and be a fighter. 
And I'm pretty sure the referee is going to be um, fair. It's going to be firm, but it's going to be fair. And, um, you know, I'll leave, it, I'll leave all that up to the referee. My job is to go out there and compete and fight against, and fight against the guy that's across from me. I mean, I can't say. I mean, anything can happen. I don't believe that that's going to happen because it's going to cost him a whole lot of money. Good afternoon, Floyd. I know you've spoken about this to social media, but uh, can you elaborate on being away from the ring for two years and not having a fight with a, yes. with a regular fighter, you know, a, a boxer? Well, I've been off. I've been off. And I said this before on social media. I said, I'm not the same fighter I was 21 years ago. I'm not the same fighter I was 10 years ago. I'm not even the same fighter I was two years ago. I understand that. But I had that fighter's mentality. You know, but this will, I spoke to Al. Today we had a meeting. And I, and I can't push my body. Um, it's grueling. Training camp is grueling. I can't do it anymore. I mean, it's rough. Training camp is rough. I'm just, just working, going to the gym, working hard every day. It's rough. This has to be my last one. You know, after taking a couple years off, I, I was okay. But then we end up somehow making this fight happen. And now I really know that this is it. Deep in my heart, this is it. I can't. Floyd. Were you taken aback at all at how pro McGregor the, the crowd was? And why do you think he uh, seems to be the more popular fighter here? Um, well, like I said before, um, when I was on stage, I mean, popularity has nothing to do with what we have in our bank accounts. <laughs> so if we go on pop popularity, he could be more famous. You know, I, why do you think I mean, I, I've popular, always though? chose. I mean, me, myself, you know, let me take my time when I ask, I don't want to rush. I always chose fortune over fame. You know, you have a lot of guys, you have a lot of people that's on social media may have 20 million followers, but may not have 20,000 in the bank. So I choose fortune over fame. He do, you do have a chance. I mean, every, every time two warriors go out there and compete, anything can happen. I mean, we just seen a week ago, two weeks ago, a guy who started bo uh, started boxing at 18, a teacher beat one of the best fighters of all time, which was Manny Pacquiao. So anything can happen, you know, in a combat sport. Um, I don't really focus on that, you know, um, he's young, he's in his twenties. I'm in my forties. I mean, he's, he's, he's active. I'm not active. So, I mean, I'm surprised they're not a lot closer. No more questions. We straight. That's all. And I'm going to let it go. Hi, Floyd. I'm Ravette with Hollywood Unlocked. How are you? Hey, how you doing? Good, thank you. So I wanted to know, how are you preparing differently for, for this fight than any other fights in your past? Uh, knowing my body, probably, in training camp. Um, t I'm taking a lot of time off, you know, letting the body rejuvenate, letting the body heal. And, uh, you know, j just to make sure before I go out there and compete, whether it's in the boxing gym or in that square circle, I want to make sure my body is, you know, close to 100 percent as possible. So I've been letting my body do a lot of resting. I've been resting a lot of this training camp. Whereas in other training camps, I really wasn't rest resting as much. I mean, you know, you know, stuff, you know, the trash talking that fighters <laughs> say to one another. Of course, he's gonna say how good he is. I told him I ain't gotta tell you how good I am. You already know. 
you know, and you know, talking about uh, the gloves, talking about he gonna knock me out, you know, different stuff like that. I said, okay, that's what they all said. He is sure. Uh, Floyd, a lot of your boxing peers have come out and said, you know what, he has no boxing experience. They're going to put on a good show, but not a great fight. And a lot of them are saying that. What is your response to them about how it's going to go in August? Um, it's going to be exciting. He's going to come fight. He's going to come out. He's upset. You know, I've seen it before. When these fighters get upset with me, they come out and try to kill me. <laughs> and, you know, my job is to be, do what I do. Um, just keep my composure. You know, I'm pretty sure my dad's going to have a, a great game plan. And then once I come back to the corner, if we get out the first round, we don't know what can happen because, like they said, Yeah. Floyd, uh, right in front of you. Um, like some of the other boxing writers in here, I've been covering you for a long time. How I've long? I've seen guys, about 20 years. Okay. <laughs> I've seen guys swinging and miss all night against you. Why should any of us think that Conor McGregor has a chance to even land one telling blow in the entire fight? He really wants to win. He wants to win bad. He really wants to win bad, extremely bad. Whereas I think other fighters, it plays out two ways when you're facing Floyd Mayweather. You know, um, you got some guys that play it safe. You got some guys that play it safe. You got some guys like Madonna that go straight for the kill. And I think he's more like the Madonna type. He's going to come out and go for the kill. Like Mayweather Madonna won. He's going to come out and go for the kill. He's a heavy hitter, so I got to be cautious, but... You remember, I'm older, so I can't move like I used to move. So it's going to be basically a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Floyd, you brought it up on Facebook yesterday about the whole taxi situation. You kind of cleared it up a little bit. OK, we'll get on that. Don't worry about that. Yeah. My tax attorney will take you all that. I ain't worried about that. Yeah. I just showed you all a $100 million check. I ain't even cash on the stage. So we ain't tripping on that. Floyd. Champion, with all respect, they say all dogs, they don't learn a new tricks. But you know, hunter dogs, they're always going to be ending catching the rabbit. Are you going to be ending catching the rabbit? You are the winner. You're the champion. I don't know what you said, but <laughs> shit. Thank you. I know you said I'm the winner and I'm the champion. I like that. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but thank you. <laughs> the chocolate, the rabbit, the, the, whatever you said. I like that. Hello. Hello. ESPN Los Angeles Espanol. Floyd, when you fight, there's always a chance of losing a fight. In case you lose, do you like to have an asterisk on your record on this fight? Who? Asterisk. 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 He said, in case you lose, would you like to have an asterisk on your record? I don't know what he asterisk. mean by that. So, somebody asked if you win this fight. You may have an asterisk because you, you beat uh, no boxer. I mean, oh, McLeod, so, so yeah, because they say if you win, you need to have an asterisk in this fight. How about if you lose? You, you would like to have an asterisk? This is what it is. Yeah. However it plays out is how it plays out. If he win, he win. If he lose, he lose. Floyd, there was some discussion up on stage about the gloves. It seemed that you offered to fight him with eight or four ounce gloves. Is that a serious me, offer or me, will it be 10 Okay, ounce? Okay, me, myself, remember, I, one thing about me, I follow rules, just period. And for years, when we fight at 147 on down, it's eight ounce gloves. When you fight at 154, if you fight higher than 147, you fight in 10 ounce gloves. Simple and plain. But if he want to break the rules, we can do that. But remember, 
That's up to him. It doesn't matter. I'm like, whatever. Bro, the Latin nation. Um, usually Conor McGregor takes over press conferences. And today, I think you took over the press conference. Did you think about that beforehand? Was it spontaneous? Do you, were you expecting more from him? It's a little bit, you know, he got to realize I've been here before. I mean, he just started this. I've been doing this for years, years, years after years. And I think I got to, he's upset. He's ready to kill me now. He's he mad. Me, I'm just cooling out. Just another day. You know, this is another day for me. But um, gave him a little bit of his own medicine. You know, I played it calm, cool, didn't say nothing. Let him do his talking. And then, ah, and then gave him some of his own medicine. He didn't like it. Up until this point, Floyd, you've been satisfied just winning fights and defeating people. Since you're fighting an MMA fighter, would you be more satisfied with the knockout in this fight? He's a warrior. He's a fighter. Every, I said this before. Every time he win, he wins standing up. He's a fighter. We both we both shoot from the shoulders. He's, he's not the type of fighter that can fight on the ground. And I'm the type of fighter I'm not even be, I'm not even finna be getting on the ground and kicking my shoes off. I ain't got to do all that. We going we going to do it. We going to do it the old school way. Uh, we're going to shoot from the shoulders. This question is for either Leonard or Floyd. Uh, yeah, you haven't, haven't dealt with the Nevada Athletic Commission before. Do you expect to have any issues for them approving the fight? Since they sometimes, they, 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 they go under like their motives to protect the, the, the fighters, etc. And with a specific, uh, special uh, situation that Conor McGregor has never had a boxing fight. Do you expect that to be an issue or not? No, I, we don't expect it to be an issue. Uh, the commissioner has already spoken on that, Bob Bennett. Um, why wouldn't Why wouldn't the fight be sanctioned? You know, it's a it's a great fight, and the fans have demanded the fight, and that's exactly what we're going to give it give to them on August the twenty sixth. Floyd, um, over here, over right here, um, right here, buddy. Thank you. Sir. Uh, Connor in MMA fights at a different distance. Uh, obviously, the boxing requirement for mixed martial arts is different than when you do in the ring. Is there any intrigue for you to fight his style of stand-up fighting? And are you adjusting your sparring at all to bring in guys who stand at a distance like he might? It's a little bit different rhythm and timing for Connor. Uh, I mean, I think it's going to be, I think from the opening bell, and I'm really going to tell everybody this, from the opening bell, I think it's going to, I think, it's going to be two things. Either he's going to come out real cautious, kind of far back, or he's going to come and just, you know, uh, the same way Madonna approached me, I think he may approach it the same way. Um, either or, you know, I'm, I'll be ready, you know, because I've dealt with every style, but I never faced a McGregor style. So that's why it's so interesting. Floyd, when you say you're not the fighter you were 10 years ago, five years ago, why do you say that? What, what do you feel different in the ring? And just, does no. that matter in this fight? I mean, I j it, it matters in every fight. I just know, you know, I'm not the, I'm not the type that's going to sit right here and tell you guys something that I don't believe. I know when I was in, there's no different from um, any athlete that's competed at the, the highest level. You know, you think that um, even Jalen Rose, when he when he got older and he was playing in the NBA, he still was playing the same way and he, he's, uh, that he was playing when he first got in the NBA? Absolutely not. You have to change with time. So I know, and because you have to change with time because you know your body is physically changing different. You're getting older. So you have to do things different. So I already know that you know, I can remember, you know, I get an injury when I was a lot younger, go right away. You know, I mean, when I was younger, it go right away. When you get older, you got to get a massage, go sit in a hot tub, you know what I'm saying, take some time off. When you're young, you can keep fighting with the injury. What's up, Floyd, over here? 
Ken Johnson Ring TV. With everything you've done, eight hundred million dollars, soon to be for fifty and zero. What would be your greatest accomplishment now that this is going to be your final fight? Just make it that I was able to make smart investments on the outside. I didn't think about. I didn't think about. I didn't want to just buy a nice car or a nice watch or a nice chain one time or two times. I'm, I'm happy that I was able to put myself in a position that I can buy whatever I want, whatever I want to buy every month for the rest of my life. Yeah, Floyd here. Just um, how much did you follow uh, MMA before this fight, and especially Conor McGregor? Only time I really seen MMA is when um, was was it Royce Gracie? <laughs> That's when I used, I used to watch it when it was on VHS. Royce Gracie, I used to watch him. That's the only person I really knew. And that's the only person I really knew. He used to be beating everybody. It wasn't no weight class. So that's, you know, and then they started getting weight classes, you know, like boxing. Started getting championships, like championship fighters like boxing. Started doing weigh-ins like, like boxing. And I was just happy that, that, we, that boxing was the pioneer and laid the blueprint, you know, for the MMA. But I take my hat off to all the MMA fans um, just for supporting combat sports. Let me touch on a, a couple house cleaning um, items for tonight. For today's attendance, uh, we have a little over 11,000 with a phenomenal turnout. Um, and the best is still yet to come with the other cities that we are getting ready to be touring tomorrow. Also, tickets will go on sale on Monday, July the 24th. And the prices will range from 500 to 1500. 2,500, 3,500, 5,000, 7,500, and 10,000. Music. Where was my entrance music? Um, no, it was, an, it, was, it was an interesting one. Um, it's a lot different to an MMA one. It didn't really tell me what was going to happen. I didn't even know there was speeches and all, so I had fun. I mean, I'm just looking around, embracing everything. This is a different setup, it's a Showtime production, so... Um, I'm just rolling around enjoying it, looking at my name on the poster. Not just my name on the fight, and the promoting name, you know what I mean? So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, they took the mic on me. Yeah, look, fuck them. Fuck Showtime. Fuck them all. They can do nothing after August 26th. They can try and do all these little tricks all they want. August 26th, this man will be unconscious. He's too small. He's too frail. That's it. What more can I say? He can catch the shot as well. I don't mind that. If he catches the shot in the glove, his, br his brain will still be rattled. So, that's it. Yeah. It's just noise. The, el the old man came. I didn't know which is which. The senior, the junior, I got confused. No, but the old man came and was like saying some stuff. Um. Whatever, I don't know. Say what? I said the old man came and said, you'll do the You get your chance on August 26th, Junior. <laughs> Relax, Junior, we're fighting August 26th. I don't want no trouble, Junior. <laughs> oh, stop. Your boy's in trouble, Senior. Your boy is in trouble. Listen, he's too small. He's too small. I'm just telling you, he's too small, too frail. His little legs, little core, small head. I'm just, I'm just telling you the truth. He's too small, senior. You've made a big mistake. You've got greedy, and that's it. You've got greedy. You could, he could have been 49 and 0, rode off into the sunset. Trust me. He got greedy here. This is a big, that was a big mistake. You, you misadvised him. You should have kept him retired. It's your fault. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, stop. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, 
your boy is going to sleep. And he's going to look so good in his sleep. I know he is. That boy is going to look good asleep. I tell you what, though. He's going to wake up a better man. He's going to wake up a better man. I promise you that. He's going to wake up a better man. No, never. No, never. I haven't even been tiddled. <laughs> Submission. 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 Something you know nothing about. You don't know nothing about this game. I bounce shin bone off opponents' heads. That's the game I come from. This isn't an actual fight, so this is a boxing match. So I, st uh, I still wouldn't count this. He's never even had a fight. He's never even had a fight. He's beat a lot of bombs. He's beat a lot of half fires. He's. Ha <laughs> Would you stop? Shame, Mosley, for fuck's sake. Are you serious? Shame, Blade Mosley. He's about 90. <laughs> it's bleeding 2018, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Mosley and all getting a shout out. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> that was a good back and forth, I think. I don't know. We were just going, are they? It is what it is. It's all noise at the end of the day. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then he kind of got into it. Look. Yeah. No, what I, I don't. All this, it's, it's all just noise at the end of the day. The fight is the fight. We're going to get in and we're going to fight. So I look forward to it. We talked about this. Spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Take that flip flop out of your mouth. <laughs> go, go, I listen. You're a fan, Floyd Senior. I know it. <laughs> I know you're a fan. You're a fan. I can see it in your eyes. You're a fan of my shit. <laughs> uh, I know it. I can see a fan when I fucking see one. You're a fan. Someone, someone sent him a signed autograph. <laughs> uh, nah, he should... Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, stop, brilliant. Good man, Floyd, have a seat now. Connor, Connor, 16 months ago, just down here, Connor, 16 months ago, we, we talked about this fight together one day, and it was talked about as potentially being a billion dollar fight, and it could still be that. Mm -hmm. um, serious question, obviously, you're going to go out there and, and, and deliver on August the 26th. And mm -hmm. if you beat Floyd, mm -hmm. you, you know, it will be massive for you and potentially you may fight him again, we don't know. But how <coughs> difficult or how easy will it be to go back to MMA afterwards? Because you are going to earn an extraordinary amount of money for this. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Say it again. You're going to earn an extraordinary <laughs> amount of money. One more time. <laughs> an extraordinary <laughs> amount of money. Uh, um, look... I love, I love a true fight. Elbows, knees, shin bone, foot. You ever, you ever bounce a shin bone off a nose bone? You ever dug an elbow into the temple? It's an unusual feeling. It's an unusual feeling when the elbow bone digs into the temple. It's a nasty little one, but it's something that just, I just enjoy. It's something I love to do. So I look forward to going back to, to uh, MMA and have a true fight after this. Uh, maybe rematches and all will probably be in there, I'm sure. Um, Look, we'll see, but um, I'm not forgetting my mixed martial arts training. I always focus on my kicking game. I always focus on my grappling. I always focus on my um, my wrestling. I always throw focus on my, my and then occasionally I, I do a little bit of boxing here and there. Somebody's O has got to go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. Ah, oh, stop. <coughs> Box you tomorrow? Box you tomorrow. Let's do it. Do you want to have a fight? Do you want to put on the MMA gloves and have a knock? 
uh, right in front here. Um, é muito vigor. É muito vigor. You don't want to be paying. Connor, you're fighting the number one boxer of this generation in his sport. So should we use deductive reason and believe that you believe you can How about them for big loaded okay. balls? Let me ask the question. Do you believe you can beat every boxer that's 154 pounds and under? Yes. <laughs> there was many there was many uh, exchanges. The, the the main one was the gloves. Uh, he was like up on the stage he was saying something we can do 8 ounces, we can do 4 ounces. I was like, "Well, hold on." You were crying and their gloves had to be 10 ounce and they couldn't be gloves made from Mexico. They couldn't be Mexican made gloves. They couldn't be gloves made out of horse hair. I didn't even know there was gloves made out of horse hair. We're only wearing gloves a couple of years in their game. I don't even need gloves to have a fight. So it was all just amusing to me as it was going on. But he was talking up there like we'll do four ounce, we'll do this, we'll do that. I was like, let's do it then. And then he was saying something about, M I'll do MMA after. I'll fight you MMA after. I was like, look, don't be talking stuff you wouldn't do. We'd never step over into this game. So, but look, it's all been, it, it's, I'm, I can't, I'm enjoying myself. Like I said, it's a different plot, it's a different setup. Everything is just different. Um, they didn't tell me nothing. They tried to kind of, you know, they, they kind of set me up a little bit, just rolled me out there. I was like, what? I was on the stage before I knew it. I stand on that stage for about 10 minutes. But look, I'm just embracing it, enjoying myself. I feel good. I look good. My company's name is on the poster. Life is so damn good and I'm blessed. Connor, uh, I don't know, it's just a suit my, my tailor made. It says, fuck you on the pins, right? But it's pretty good, though. <laughs> it's a good suit. Everyone. <laughs> I was going to ask you about your suit. What do you think is the biggest reason why people want to see this fight? Sorry? What do you think is the biggest reason why people want to see this fight? Look, at the end of the day, I am fighting and he is boxing. It's two men at the top of their game competing, and cal it's two worlds collide. So that enough is 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 reason why this is what it is. Like I said on the, on the stage, it's happened before. Muhammad Ali fought Antonio Inoki in Japan in the sixties under mixed rules, but he was actually misadvised. He was t he was led to believe it was like a wrestling match, and then Antonio Inoki dropped to his dropped to his back, which is a term called pulling guard in in, in our sport. And he started kicking the legs off of Ali. And Ali was backing up and didn't really understand what was happening. So that was one incident where it happened, where a global, someone on the top done, reached out and done that. Another, uh, another more, docu well, as documented, was the James Tony randy Couture fight. James Tony from the same place Floyd uh, is from. Um, only and and uh, the same outlook on MMA as a, as a whole he has, as Floyd. They've spoke very badly about the sport multiple times. Only J James Tony, fair play to him. He actually came over and tried to do something about it. He came and faced someone in our sport. Floyd didn't really want to do that, so and he didn't really need to in the position he's in. So we come, we wanted to come over and have boxing. So that's it. So that's it. I'll come over. So I just want to show up, show that confidence. Connor, I was going to ask you about your suit. Like uh, you have very specific stripes. Can you t tell us about it? Yeah, that's it's a pinstripe suit from a distance, from a distance. And then you get up real close to your glasses on, you're told, and it just says "fuck you" on the stripe. So it's just, it's just a, it's just a beautiful suit. David August, the August McGregor line. Um, fashion is something I'm very, very interested in. Fashion and fighting is very similar. It's all about attention to detail. The small details is everything. Um, so it's something. It's another venture of mine. All right, Connor. It came out uh, this week, right here. Sorry. Yeah. It came out this week that uh, that Floyd is not just fighting. Uh, for legacy, that he has some issues with the IRS. What do you think? Does this change uh, Floyd's mindset at all? You look at this any different? That it's not just about yeah. legacy. He he continually said, "It's the we give this fight for the fans. The fans want this fight. That's why we'll give this fight." But in reality, that's not the case. The reason he's accepted this fight and come out for time is because he has to. He's in dire situation like that. Is not a good situation to be in. Am I going to be up here? Yeah, yeah. Am I am I going to be up here and say, ha ha ha, and laugh at the situation? No, I'm not. You know, I wish him well. I wish, I wish, I wish him smart with the money that he makes from this fight. Um, ah, come on, Floyd. Really, I'm 24, number 24 on the Forbes list. I'm doing all right. <laughs> I'm a multi-multi-millionaire, Floyd. Who gives a bollocks? I do, I do now. I do. As soon as he pays that tax bill, I do. <laughs>
Ah, uh, now, Fib, ah, uh, he's great. He got loads of money. Fair play to him. I'm doing all right, but. Um, ah, uh, come on, you do privates in the. You do privates for $20. $20. Relax. Connor. Connor. <coughs> How much for a private session, Floyd? Connor. $50. Connor. What you do get you the Mayweather experience. Connor. What do you have to say? Uh, what about your conditioning? Uh, it's 12 hard rounds. You've never gone 12. Or, and in those two great fights with Nate Diaz, you did become, you did get very <laughs> tired. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, you, you were winded in those two great fights with Nate Diaz. You're talking about a 200-pound man there. You're talking about grappling exchanges. You're talking about elbows, knees, kicks. You're talking about a hell of a different contest. A little boxing fight where there's a, where there's a referee to save the day every time there's a tie-up and a clinch. 12, three minutes is nothing. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but this game is very easy. It's a very easy game compared to my game. Right Say that again. Oh, so, yeah, well, whatever. Whatever, I've got the money after the voice, so sue me. <laughs> No, I know. No, don't don't be worried. You won't have. Don't get your lawyers after me, seeing you, will you? I, I thought we were fighting. Now I'm leading, having a legal battle and everything. I thought it was a fight. This is bollocks. Um, legal and everything. We're having a fight, mate. Don't get your lawyers after me, please. <laughs> and, uh, look, uh, look, he got senior, senior, senior. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. As long as he keeps, as long as he speaks my name with respect, I will abide by the boxing rules. I'll abide by the Marcus of Queensberry rules only if he speaks my name. If he disrespects me during this tour or during this build-up, then maybe I might, might just bounce an elbow off his eyebrow. So that's on him how he does it. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Listen to this. By the time you climb up into the ring uh, from the steps... He'll already be bust down, but from the eyebrow down. I'll catch, I'll catch you stepping into the ropes. If I strike him or strangle him in that fight, if I strike him or strangle him in the fight, he'll be a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fast. Oh, that's fast. Oh, stop. <laughs> no, no, I'll abide by the... <laughs> You're a good man, senior. You're a good man. Um, now look, as long as he's nice and quiet and respectful, I'll follow the Marcus of Queensbury rules. If he doesn't, if his head dips down low, I might just wrap it up in a, in a strangle. You know, it takes three seconds. You know, it takes three seconds to, to sleep a man from a strangle. An untrained neck not used to it, it takes two seconds. So if I wrap around his neck and strangle him, he will be asleep within two seconds on the, on the canvas in that ring. That's quicker than it will take you to jump into the ring. So be very, very respectful for how you speak my name. <laughs> See you later, Floyd. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Connor, I just wanted to ask you real quick. Real quickly, you've always been a fan of alternative movement. You use very interesting movement. You've been working with Ito, and the way that you fight in the octagon, you come out the end having a lot of success with that. But now you have to adapt your style to a four-sided boxing ring. Mm -hmm. So how do you really go about changing your actual movement style to be more successful in this fight? I will come out and I'll paint many different pictures. I can fight in many stances. I can fight in many styles. I can take... A capoeira attack, I can take a taekwondo attack, I can take a karate stance, I can take a boxing stance, I can take a Thai boxing stance, I can take a Greco-Roman freestyle wrestling stance. I can stand and fight in many, many ways. And I will fight in all of them. I will paint many, many different pictures in this fight. Dazzle him. And then the shots will find their home. Hmm? I am now. So... I am now, and I'm, I'm about to be the best one of all time. 